So the grocery store on Milwaukee's east side is responding to claims against one of its security guards. A local family says that guard made a degrading reference about a customer with autism. Exactly what was said is still being disputed. Fox 6 is Henry Rossoff with the claim and what the store has to say about it. A long, long time ago. Emily Goldman and her 26-year-old brother Michael, who has autism, were in the Milwaukee Whole Foods on North Avenue one week ago. Goldman went to get something off the shelf, and Michael did something unfortunate. He took some food from the hot bar. Michael was confronted by two security guards, but he didn't understand and couldn't explain himself. By the time Goldman got involved, she says she apologized and offered to pay for the food, but... They told me that that wasn't good enough. He needed to get out of the store, not come back, unless he was on a leash. And I was outraged because it's... it's um, you know, so demeaning to my brother. Whole Foods took notice. A company spokeswoman tells us referencing a leash was inexcusable, though the spokeswoman says Michael has eaten from the hot food bar before and the store has always been understanding. She also says the language used by the security guard was closer to, you don't have to put him on a leash, but you do have to watch him. She says the guard worked at Whole Foods through a private security firm and resigned after last Wednesday's incident. In a formal statement, the spokeswoman writes in part, quote, we apologize and regret that one of our contracted security guards made insensitive comments to a Whole Foods market shopper who was disabled. We are conducting special training this week for all team members at Whole Foods Market Milwaukee, even though none of our team members were involved. Hopefully it would be wonderful if the sensitivity training goes well and this becomes a store where people with disabilities are welcomed. We'll continue to follow up with Whole Foods and make sure they follow up on their promise to bring training to their store. In Milwaukee, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Henry. A 15-year-old girl is shot and killed overnight in Milwaukee.